this thing here and I'm going to try to set it up in here to where I can anchor it down using seeing another guy doing this trick here taking these and drawing a hole in the floor and putting a couple screws in there just enough to hold it in place that's one thing about doing is taking and drilling a hole underneath here marking where I need and putting them underneath there and using these little screws here to hold it in there's three three holes there I should hold it in there good and I also got screw into them and that'll that'll allow it to me to attach it basically just to keep it in a spot I bought four of these thinking I might need four of them one for each point here but I'm actually thinking now that I may not All right, hey guys, uh, I apologize, I forgot to turn the camera back on. I hate to go around and get some different screws, but I went ahead and drilled drill my pilot holes out here for these. And what I did was I used the 3 8 is that what it is? three eighths hole here and what I did I started the hole and then once I got down being the floors get towel on it and then I stepped it up to this one inch to bring it out here to uh, so this thing will fit flush down to the floor whenever I do put a new floor in which is kind of on my plans you're going to want to do, and I can go back to the old footage for this, you drill a couple of holes in your floor, which a lot of people don't want to do that, I understand, I didn't either, but the original wheel chucks that came in this uh, trailer had failed on me in route, hauling my Harley, so luck have it, nothing fell, nothing broke, but anyway, what you're going to do is drill a couple of holes in your floor, you know, in comparison to where the holes are in this uh, in this wheel chop. So anyway, I drilled holes. Like I said, I'll get back into the other videos from the past of what I did and uh, get these. get these uh, things they call tea nuts but you can get them at all the big box stores and then you get the compatible thread and just hold them down to the floor now I'm gonna be honest with you I have these things on both sides of the trailer and the one hole over on the other side 
I did get off a little bit. So having four of these is actually a little bit of an overkill. The weight of the motorcycle really holds the thing down anyway. But being as they're already here, I utilize them. Just draw them down. And, you know, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna go hogging on or anything. I mean, you can obviously see this thing is going nowhere. And I don't use, leave them in there only when I'm hauling a bike. So, um, again, these things have become part of my, uh, you know, every time I go on a bike week thing or anything like that, these are what I use. And, you know, you'll have to adjust everything to your satisfaction for your bike. And as you can see at the beginning of the video, I drove the bike up one there and it'll sit there. Now, obviously, you got to tie it down. Some people use these things and don't even tie them down. So, but this is a Pittsburgh, you know, product from Harbor Freight. I've had zero issues with it. It's made a couple trips to Daytona, Florida, which is a 900 mile one way trip for me. I pull in two bikes. I have one over here beside of me too. And, um, yeah, now I do, I still, I still tie it into the floor rather than, um, bang you out here a little bit. I tie it into the deep rings into the floor rather than these. They do have feet on the bottom of them if you want them on there. I did take them off. So it's just flat, flat to the floor. And if I'm only hauling one bike, I always put it on the, on the, the left side, the driver's side of the trailer. That way I can utilize this side for coolers to carry food and drink or whatever. And I can get in there and not have to go around the bike. So, again, I have two of these. They have been great. You can actually put them in your garage and store your bike on them. You know, just lay them on the floor. Like I said, the way the bike holds it there. They ain't going nowhere once, you know, I mean, I, I don't know the specs of the steel, but I'd say it's an eighth inch, you know, hang wire and steel welded in the middle. Same way these, they're, they're, they're both, I'd say eighth inch steel. Pins are pretty heavy, look like a grade eight. So, again, you know, very, very substantial product. Uh, all right, sorry about that. I had to reposition the camera here. I was down on the floor and trying to look up at the camera. So anyway, so again, this is the uh, Pittsburgh um, Harbor Freight wheel chalk. Said I can't remember the price of them right now. I mean, um, when I bought it, I think they were like $65, $75, somewhere in that range. And, uh, of course, now, you know, it'll be a hundred bucks with the way everything's raised in the last few years. And I've had this for at least four, if not five years, probably going closer to the five-year mark. And like I said, I have two of them. I have one for each side of the, the, the trailer. And, uh, again, I'm not freaking trying to market anything for Harbor Freight, but on the flip side, Harbor Freight's kind of a one-stop deal for me. Seems like I get about everything from there. So anyway, uh, going back to inst installation, I'll have a clip. Like I said, I, I started doing this video back when I put these in, and I had lost a little micro SD, or misplaced, I should say to do the video so I never really got around to it and I found that old footage and a little outdated you know and I don't need you know it, it would have been a lengthy video just to sit there and watch me turn a bunch of screws and I'm trying to eliminate that and make this a little bit shorter of a video something quick and easy but anyway uh, again nothing hard it take a little time yes you will have to drill through your for your uh, trailer you know, if you got a problem with that, you probably can just set the stand in there. And the way the bike will hold it still, 
with you tying it down to the floor of your trailer. The D-rings you already have your trailer, but uh, again, personal preference. That's up to you. Probably if you had a rubber matting or something you put down, you'd probably be better. Doubt it would go anywhere, but I'd hate for somebody to do that and then come back and say, hey, I was hauling my motorcycle and the dang one thing fell down going down the road, you know, because it slid on the floor. So, but anyway, uh, again, four bolts, a little bit of an overkill. You probably just do two of them. That's all you need to do. And, and uh, again, you know, make your own choices. I mean, you can go and get the better ones, you know, that are probably three times the price. Um, up to you. So far, like I said, probably closer to five years now I've had these, and they have treated me fine. Again, I do have a few things here I want to show you. These are the feet to come with the uh, with the stand itself. You want to put them on there. They're plastic. You know they're they're not rubber. But when you have them on there, even with them drawn all the way up, you know there's what three quarters of an inch inch. It's it's allowing that stand basically to sit like half. You draw it down, and you got the bike on it itself. So, because they're only on the front. And on the other thing I want to show you, I can find it here. I don't really use them anymore. These here are basically body plugs, you know, like the, you know, like your, your, uh, on your car, like your fender wells and stuff like that, pieces in your bumpers or whatever. But anyway, I use these if, I have it. They have the uh, stands out of, out of here, and I'm hauling something in here that I need everything to be perfectly level. I'll use these to plug the holes, and um, but most of the time I just put the bolts back in and just leave it that way. I know where they're always at. So again, each is their own. Do what you want to do, and. Give a give a little plug for these here. These are in the straps. You know, I only have one end. And uh, I have a video about using these. Got these off SRK cycles. Uh, I think they were 30 bucks for two of them. I actually have four of them. They work really great. And uh, no issues at all. Great, great uh, spin. Great value for your money, I should say. And then these here, I have a lot of these ratchet straps here. Cut the length for my bike to tie down the back of it because I can't tie through my wheel because I got solid wheels. Got a five boy. Uh, a lot of you can. So, but uh, I actually am starting to um, phase these out. Because I can actually, you get the retractable, retractable ratchet straps is the way to go. And again, I also use, I don't know where they're at right now, but uh, for this e track, I actually have a bull hoop goes in here. When I tie the bike down, I always put a strap here keep a little tension that way in case these would happen to come loose it won't allow the bike to slide over into another bike if I have another one here so anyway you know that is totally up to you when you want to do that and that that brings me to another point real quick another Harbor Freight product is a Z-Track which you can get them at the other big box stores which the ones I would suggest is one of the other stores has got the cross pattern so you can put so anyway it has the uh, cross pattern here so it makes it nice that you can put them in you know you can have the thing any way you want it to sideways upright whatever but they are nice as far as help tie stuff down in your travels keep stuff off your bikes keep your bikes in one spot so again yeah, 
just stuff that's worked for me just trying to share stuff that's worked for me help me out again yeah here's this trailer it's you know 10 years old floor needs redone again it's getting to be a little shabby these boxes i got them at uh um track supply says they'll hold 100 pounds there's a sticker right on if you can read it and uh that's where i keep all my straps so it's been great too but anyway i'm starting to ramble on here i want to try to make this a short video so again uh there should have been some place in this video where i have the old footage of showing me drilling some holes in the floor and putting the t-nuts in there and i think i even mentioned where i got them i'm sure i got them at one of the big box stores if i remember correctly and just matched up the threads like i said it's not really a big deal you set them down in there where they're pretty flush to the floor flush to the floor so anyway again i'm starting to ramble so thanks for watching uh, hope you enjoyed hope this helps you out if you're looking for a way to haul your bike and do it inexpensive anyway as i was saying i'm starting to ramble on um you know if you enjoyed this video you know maybe shoot me a like or shoot me a message and maybe i can help you out i will say again i am terrible about answering my messages at times i don't mean to be but uh i do sometimes i'll i'll forget to go back and look because i'm not real popular on youtube at this point so but anyway i'll get back to you as soon as i can so again thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one